New data from the CDC shows the Delta variant is much more contagious than previously thought. CBS News has confirmed a Washington Post report of an internal CDC document. It says the variant may spread as quickly as chickenpox. We talked to a public health expert at UC Berkeley. He says we need to see the data that supports the CDC information on how the Delta variant spreads. It's, it's more transmissible, this Delta variant, than any of the previous uh, variants that we've seen with uh, SARS-CoV-2. And that's, of course, really disappointing because the more transmissible it is, the more people that are going to get infected. So uh, what we've learned with um, the information from the CDC is that this particular virus is behaving much more like chickenpox virus in terms of its ability to transmit. Chickenpox is also a virus that's spread in the air, it's spread through droplets, but it's, it's also primary mode of spread is through air, which can be um, considerable distances from the individual who's expelling the virus, many feet, uh, sometimes many yards, um, and much more so inside than outside. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Exactly like SARS-CoV-2. Uh, it falls on the scale of being a much more infectious virus than its predecessors that we dealt with a year ago, six months ago, and even four months ago. So it, it, it's a much more contagious virus. In terms of how contagious is, is it compared to the flu uh, influenza, it's more contagious, appreciably more contagious. How contagious is it compared to the cold virus? A lot more contagious than the cold virus. But the cold virus uh, ry called rhinovirus, it transmits a lot by hands and inanimate objects where this virus, SARS-CoV-2, doesn't. So washing your hands really protects you well against um, the cold virus. Uh, measles, uh, it's not quite as contagious as measles, but measles is the most contagious or transmissible um, of the human pathogen, viral pathogens. There's the good news and the bad news. The bad news is that it means that fully vaccinated people, some of the fully vaccinated people get infected, will see more breakthroughs. Those breakthroughs, yes, will be mild. They're not going to wind up in the hospital. Um, and they may be able to transmit. So that means we're going to have to change our behavior a little bit. And that's what I'm really interested in in having fleshed out, because if we have to change our behavior, we have, we as public health professionals have to have to start telling people exactly what that should be. Clearly, one of the things that Dr. Walensky said last week was wear a mask indoors. The good news is that all of the data we have suggests, not only suggests, but shows us that if you're fully vaccinated, it's very unlikely you're going to get sick enough to wind up in the hospital, very unlikely. And even if you wind up in the hospital, it's extremely unlikely you're going to die. So essentially, what I'm my takeaway is, yeah, now I'm feeling with the Delta variant more vulnerable to getting infected and maybe getting mild symptoms. But I'm still so grateful to those vaccines because I don't feel worried about getting infected winding up in the hospital and winding up on a ventilator and dying. Do you think this, uh, does a booster shot enter into this conversation at all or is it, would that even matter? And, but if it does matter for what populations? Don't, we don't know yet. Um, we know that um, vaccine protection is, seems to be lasting very well in terms of protecting people from winding up in the hospital and dying, even with the Delta variant. So from that perspective, if that's our criteria for a booster, we don't, we're not meeting that criteria or anywhere near it. On the other hand, there may be certain groups of people where a booster shot may be indicated either now or pretty soon. For example, immunocompromised people or other people at very high risk for uh, complications from COVID. Maybe they'll fall into a, a group that should get a booster sooner. But for the general population, very healthy, um, we're just not seeing the data yet to support a booster uh, shot 